we have a habit as human beings to want what we want. Doesn't matter if we can attain it or not, we still want what we want. We have needs, we have goals, we have ambitions, we have desires to get things done our way though. Has to be our way, can't be anybody else's way. So for example, you know, a landlord wants to rent out a place. We rent out the place to the tenant, say, here's the keys, you know, I got your security deposit, your, your, your first couple months rent, everything is good. Person moves in, they feel good about themselves. You know, they start to bring their furniture in, they start to decorate the place, they start to make the place feel like their own. But then they want to paint. So the tenant goes to the landlord and says, hey, I'd like to paint the apartment. Landlord looks at the person and is like, no, 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 no. I, I like the paint the way it is. Let's just keep it like that. He's like, well, I'm renting the place. You know, I rented it from you. So I would love to change the walls if possible. No, 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 no. This is going to stay the same. So he says, okay. Then he wants to possibly change the stove. No, 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 that stove's been there for 20 years, it's fine. Yeah, but the stove is about to break down, so I, I can tell because I've, I've worked on stoves for quite a while. No, 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 leave the stove alone. So you leave the stove alone. More things come up, and it just gets to a point where it's like, okay, am I living here or you still want to live here? Because I'm not able to do what I want to do, yet I'm paying you money. I bring this up because Brian Flores in Miami is possibly going through the same situation. And what I mean is that the owner, Ross, the GM, Chris Greer, they are the landlords. They bring Brian Flores in and say, here's the keys. We got your security deposit. We got your first two months of rent. Go ahead. This is yours. So Brian Flores is like, all right, uh, we'll go ahead and fix the defense. We'll make sure our special teams are great. I'm going to make sure everything in this organization on this team runs the right way on the field as well as my staff. But I would like to change a few things. I'd like to get another quarterback. I'd like to draft Justin Herbert. No, 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 no. No, we like Tua. Yeah, but Justin Herbert's a better quarterback. I've watched him play. Two was, you know, he's okay, but he has some injury history. No, no, no. We're going to a, you got to figure it out. So Brian Flores is like, well, am I the head coach here or are you micromanaging me? That's the issue that I'm having with this whole situation is that you want something, but yet you want to micromanage it. And then you wonder why it doesn't work. Chris Greer's been there for how long? He's done it his way, and he's had this coach come in here, this coach come in here, this quarterback come in here. It hasn't worked. You micromanaging. You get a good coach now who knows what he's doing, who wants a particular guy, and you tell him no. So at first I was like, you know, this, this, this stings of a little black coach not getting the leash that, White coaches get, I don't particularly think it's that per se. Who knows, it could have came from the top as well. But it's more the dysfunction that's with the Miami Dolphins. They wanted Tua. Well, we see what Tua is, right? We actually see what Justin Herbert is as well. Justin Herbert is a great young quarterback. Brian Flores saw that. He wanted that. You could win with that. Hell, he won with how many quarterbacks? Ryan Fitzpatrick, Tua Tagovailoa, Jacoby Brissett. He didn't have a, a healthy starter for the three years that he was here. <laughs> and he still won 10 games a second season. He still... Won nine games his third season. He won the last five games of his first season, but yet he's gone today. Make it make sense. 
Make it make sense. So, self-inflicting wounds. It's things that you do to yourself. The reason why you're not progressing in life. That's what the Miami Dolphins do to themselves. Year in and year out. Coach after coach. Regime after regime. So Brian Flores gets removed. But Chris Greer's still there. So he continues to be able to pick coaches and draft bad players and micromanage like he knows what he's doing when he really doesn't. But the other part of this that bothers me, and this is the part that screams a little, you know, the black coach is in, eh, is that we heard a couple of years ago that Brian Flores, according to reports, difficult. Really? What's so difficult about him because he wants to change the culture of your dysfunctional franchise? A franchise that hasn't won a playoff game in, what, 18 years or so? That franchise? Difficult. Of course he's difficult. Most great coaches are. Bill Belichick's a jerk. Robert Kraft understands that, but he will never get in the way of that man's preparation. Because at the end of the day, it gets results. Mike Tomlin... 15 straight seasons with a winning record has never been done in the history of football. Does it his way. Nobody comes down and messes with Mike Tomlin. Same thing with Andy Reid. All the great coaches you can name, they don't get micromanaged. But it's so convenient that this guy who's had success is getting micromanaged. The last guy that got micromanaged this way was in Detroit, I don't know, a few years back. His name is Jim Caldwell. Made the playoffs a couple of times in Detroit. Last time they actually did that. Micromanaged that guy too. Got him out of town. And anytime you see this type of micromanagement, there's normally dysfunction at the top. So Brian Flores will be fine because rumor has it is that he's he's already or he's planning to interview for the Chicago Bears job, he's going to get another job in this cycle. I, I, I can already see it. And the Miami Dolphins are going to be just the Miami Dolphins. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to care. Whoever they hire doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because you have Chris Greer, you have the owner over there that they don't know what they're looking for. They don't understand what it takes to win. How can you ask somebody to help you in the right direction when they have blindfolds on? That's the Miami Dolphins. How can they point you in the right direction when they can't see themselves? They haven't been down that road. They don't know. It's comical. It's comical that a guy that good, Brian Flores is one of the great young coaches in this league. And you let him walk out the door because you have difference of opinion in regards to certain things. I, that's the way it's supposed to be. A GM has a thought. Hey, pass it down to my coach. Coach says, ah, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's collab. Let's figure it out. No, 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 no. You want your coach to be a pawn. Whatever you say goes. It's not the way it works. If that's the case, you coach the team. Don't hire anybody. Chris Greer needs to coach the team. If he knows so much football, might as well go ahead and do it. I'm sure he won't because he doesn't. That's the problem. And when you have an owner that just allows a GM that's this bad to control it and micromanage the situation, you're going to have dysfunction in your franchise for a very, very long time. That's why the Miami Dolphins are terrible because they are the landlords that don't allow the tenants to actually do what they have to do to just live, to just do what they're doing, do what's in their lease to be able to do. I paid you money so I can stay here. I did not pay you money so you can be the overseer and the voyeur in regards to what I'm doing, period.